Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Jack. Today we are focusing on a Lego minifigure for a collection review. This is Harvey Dent, or better known as Two Face. Now, there's eight minifigs in this collection in total, but uh, actually only five different versions of Two Face. I just thought I would include his henchmen as well. We're going to go through these minifigs chronologically from when they were released, what sets they came out in, and how much they are worth. So let's jump back to 2006 when the first Two Face minifig came out. And I got to say, I really like this guy a lot because he looks so darn similar to uh, the animated TV series version of Two-Face, which I remember quite fondly as a kid. So half his suit is black, the other half white. And when he's got the normal slicked back black hair on one side, it is juxtaposed by the wily crazy white hair on the other. It's a super cool print that makes up the face. I honestly think it looks great. He originally came from the Batmobile Two-Faces escape set from 2006. He sells for $20 brand new, minimum price. And the second version of Two-Face, by the way, is I, I think it was a printing error from uh, the manufacturers at this time because he came out in the same set same year but only has the slightest difference in print. I don't know if you can tell the difference between these two guys standing side by side but the difference here is that the groin piece doesn't have any printing for the black suit on the one side to match up. It's all white all the way through. That is a super tiny difference. It really feels like it's an error but technically that well, one was printed, the other one wasn't. This version of him without the printed groin piece is actually $10 more bare minimum buying price for a brand new version of them. So whoop de doo we got both of them. And then in the same set was uh, his henchman. This guy is definitely a bit simpler. He just has the uh, black printing on one half and one back half of his torso piece. And that's a pretty generic henchman face that I think has been reused several times. Despite him being so darn simple, he's still like nine or ten bucks brand new. And then when we jump up to 2012, we get Two-Face released as part of the DC superheroes line. This version of him is kind of similar to how maybe he was originally presented portrayed pretty early on he had the purple and orange color combination though usually he was portrayed with a green face I think they used the same hairpiece as the original version of Two-Face from 2006 which is fine it's still a good hairpiece and he also comes with a coin this time which is pretty nice the quality of the print is uh, a bit better all in all the uh, there's some printing on the groin piece consistently this time and the face though it's more lego -ified. I still think actually looks pretty good with the improvement of the sort of grotesque half face from uh, Harvey Dent he appeared in the single set the Batmobile and the Two-Face Chase now retired. He's also 20 bucks brand new, though a lot of vendors are trying to get him closer to sell for 30. That is pretty darn collectible considering the set really isn't that old. And the set also came out with uh, another two henchmen that match up pretty well with the color combination. They share the same print for the torso piece, which is unique just to these guys. And the only thing different about them actually is just the print for their faces. Respectively, they each sell for around four bucks. And let's jump up to 2017 where we get our latest version of Two-Face. His release was part of the Lego Batman movie version, and the first set he came out in was actually part of the new Arkham Asylum, so he's only in his Arkham Asylum jumpsuit. That means the print for his body is the same as the other inmates from this set, and what make him different are the color for his hands, and of course the head and the mold for his hair, which is really awesome. He looks totally melted. The expressions for his faces are really good. Personally, the general art direction for his uh, half face that's all melted away, I don't like as much. I kind of liked it when his skin changed color instead of it just kind of being melted away and you can see his skull. But that's just me. This guy sells for around five or six bucks. And then the last Two-Face also came out just a little bit later the same year is sort of the uh, original, sort of the authentic version of Two-Face with the detailing he was meant to have. And this guy looks great for the same reason a lot of these new minifigs look great. They really just spent a lot of time making things look so good. There's even that funny little Easter egg where you can see his uh, polka dotted heart uh, underwear <laughs> underneath the pants that are melted away. The arm is great being all pink and sort of melty too with some nice prints on the side and he just looks sweet. I know he's a totally original kind of different off the cuff version of the character but the designers really did imagine him in a really fun light and he came out in the set Two-Face Double Demolition and though this set is still on shelves right now he sells for around 13 bucks which is uh, maybe gonna level itself out once the set is retired I'm not entirely sure but there you have it these are all of the Two-Face figs and their henchmen. Now I know the original version is very close to what we got from the animated TV series, but I would love to get the animated TV series of Two-Face in the future, or maybe in a million years we'd get a Tommy Lee Jones version of Two-Face from uh, that very colorful Batman movie. Either one would totally make my day, and anyways, that is it for this episode. This guy ended up being a lot more collectible than I originally anticipated. Some of these original Batman villains can go for quite a lot, other ones not so much. This guy, this guy's on the more expensive side for sure, and also yeah, it would be awesome to get a uh, Christopher Nolan Batman 
Batman version of Two-Face as well. Anyways, that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah!